What's up? So today we've got a BOSU balance training workout for beginners. Now don't hate me, you're probably gonna think it's a little hard, but if I was a beginner and I was using a BOSU, today's workout is exactly how I do it. Let's get at it. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's workout. My name's Frank. Thank you so much for tuning in. On this channel, I wanna help you move, feel, and look better through mobility, training, and nutrition. And in today's workout, we've got a BOSU. If you're brand new to BOSU training or a BOSU balance training, please stay tuned because this is the workout for you. It is gonna be a little challenging and I'm not gonna lie, you're gonna want something to hold on to. But before I get ahead of myself, please go ahead and click that link down in the description or down in the comment section below if you'd like to go ahead and skip straight to the workout. Now, all you're gonna need is a BOSU trainer. I'm gonna put that link down in the description so you can pick one up. I definitely love this thing when I'm doing any kind of balance exercises especially if you just got out of knee rehab or ankle rehab and you've done some of the stuff with your PT, they may put you on a BOSU and you may balance on one leg. And that's the very first exercise we're gonna do. So we've got a total of 10 moves, all right? Each move is gonna be repeated on each side. Um, one of the moves we're gonna do twice, which is a BOSU push-up. But even if you're a beginner, fear not, I'm gonna kinda guide you on how to do these exercises. I would just suggest that you do this next to like a wall or an object or a railing. Uh, if you had like some stairs maybe in the two edges, if you could hold on to it because you're going to want some support, some of these exercises are going to be a little tough. Maybe even if you had a suspension trainer, this is going to be a different workout, but if you had a suspension trainer to hold on to, you can use something for support to stand on it, okay? So each move is just going to be 45 seconds long. It's a 10 minute workout, all right? And then uh, 45 seconds long, 15 second rest break in between. 10 minutes and then that's it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's grab our water bottles, let's get hydrated and let's smash today's workout. And let's go ahead and get 15 seconds on the clock, grab some water, stay hydrated, drink water every single day as much as you can. All right, first exercise. We've got a single leg BOSU balance. Man, that's a little loud. <laughs> We've got a single leg BOSU balance, all right? So all I'm doing on here is I'm trying to balance, okay? This is actually super challenging. <laughs> I don't do this all the time, but when I do, I really try and work it well. So I use my hands out, okay? And then also, if you have to, you could tap your foot on here a little bit if you're losing it. So once I get my groove, this is a little better. I honestly will just kind of keep my hands off for balance. Sometimes it gets kind of crazy. Even as much balance training as I do, my ankle, if you can see, it is getting work to the max. I'm using my hands as a reference point and I'm standing. I'm trying to be like Karate Kid here. Sometimes I get in this nice sweet spot. Sometimes it's a little bit harder, but we're just working that stability there. So as you're balancing, you're gonna feel these ankle stabilizers. Your ankle, knee, and hip stabilizers are gonna be firing up like crazy. So just do the best you can. And like I said, if you need something to hang on to, that is totally okay. So all we're gonna do next is we are just gonna balance. And we're gonna balance on here. We're just gonna hold, same thing. I'll show you a little different angle. We're just balancing another side. It's okay, if you have to step off for a second, that's fine. Your anterior tibialis, your shins are gonna fire like crazy. So if you haven't seen one of my videos already, please check out that massage ball mobility video or my lower body foam rolling video because it's gonna show you exactly how to roll that out. So <clears throat> even as much as I train my balance, this is, this is hard. Now sometimes I might take a little bit of air out of the BOSU, or if you have it a little bit more filled up, that can completely change the dynamic of this exercise. So this one's kind of, I don't know, I would say about like three quarters filled. So we are just balancing. As you can see, my right side just so a little bit uh, weaker on that. My left leg, as you know, a couple months ago, I messed up my knee, so I've done a lot of rehab on it definitely feels a lot better. But next we're just gonna go into a push-up, okay? So, we're gonna flip this upside down, and then even if we're a beginner, I want you to try and get the negative. So we're gonna do this push-up twice as we go through this workout, but we're gonna come down as slow as possible, bring those elbows out, and then as we come up, we're gonna push and squeeze. If you're a beginner, come down, then use the knees, press and squeeze. When I squeeze, three quarters, and contract the chest. Watch my how to do a BOSU push-ups video. I break this exercise down. Get the negative. I don't care if you can't do a push-up. Flop down if you have to. 
drop the knees, press and squeeze. All right, but if you're a little bit more intermediate advanced, you can still make this workout challenging. Come down slow, nice pause, and then you're gonna press and squeeze. You're gonna adduct, bring those elbows in, contract. Don't lock out the arms. Keep the shoulder blades retracted. Squeeze your chest as hard as you can, okay? We're gonna come back to this push-up in just a second, all right? We're taking a little break here, and we're gonna do a lunge, we're gonna do a push-up and do a lunge. This is probably a harder way to lunge, okay? We're gonna work our stability and balance doing this reverse lunge. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna step on top, use my foot as a reference, and I'm gonna drop into reverse lunge. When I am coming down here, I'm just trying to come down slow. We're not going for reps, we're not going for power and strength, we're looking for stability. Hold, step together, lightly tap, okay? You can see my ankle, my knee, hip stabilizers are completely firing, I'm coming back. My feet are about hip width apart. I'm touching back with the ball of the foot and then I'm dropping down. 90% of the weight's on the leg I'm working. So I'm completely balanced here, pausing, holding, stepping together, coming back down. So I'm two months fresh off of meniscus tear. I am feeling great right now. This is the best my leg has felt. Just got a deep tissue massage today. So these are the kind of workouts I love to help rehab step together. As you can see, I didn't do a ton of lunges, okay? Just enough, but I wanna work that balance. So when I'm doing these beginner workouts, the most efficient use of my time is getting these 45 second uh, bouts of work with a 15 second rest break in between. We're back at the push-ups. So, same thing, all right? Coming down, nice and slow. We're gonna pause, and we're gonna press and squeeze. Especially if you're new to this, if you've gotta really work on your strength, you know, anywhere from three to six, three to five reps is really, really good. And you just wanna go slow. Like I said, you might do two to three sets a day of two to three push-ups, and that's it. And we're coming down. Again, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna pretend like I'm squeezing this together and contract. Now, if you can't, you know, do it without your knees, that's fine. Get the negative on the way down, then use your knees. And if you're absolutely dying, stay on your knees here, dropping it down, bringing it out, and then bring it back up, you're gonna press and squeeze. But as always, we're gonna get a little bonus here, really work that negative. Work the negative, coming all the way down, nice pause, knees, press and squeeze. All right, we are flipping it back, all right? Hit a little different angle. So we're flipping back, opposite leg, on top, doing that reverse lunge. So lightly tap, knee is soft, inhale, breathe in, abs are tight, and again, I like to keep my hands out. I'm not a pro skateboarder or anything, but when I skateboard, and if I'm doing like a manual, right, I got my hands out for balance, I, I like to keep them out, it's just kind of my reference point. So again, I'm coming down, nice stability, abs are tight, and then stepping together. Again, you may need something to hold on to to help you, so if you have a railing or something for reference, that's fine. But you can see, even as much as I train, I've been training almost 20 years now, I still have a lot of work and my foot and my ankle, no matter how much, because this is a super unstable service. Now, if you're having a really, really hard time with this, you may use a balance pad, all right? You can use a balance pad, see, even I'm getting thrown off. And you might use a balance pad instead of this BOSU. This BOSU is a little bit harder, all right? And we're gonna push and step together. So, next move, we've got a BOSU side plank, all right? This is a great way to get your shoulder stabilizers fired up and work your abs and core. And we're just working this, basically this isometric movement. So we're just hanging out here, okay? We've got this BOSU side plank. So we're hanging out. If this is too hard, we could drop a knee. We could drop a knee down, hanging out here, all right? And if you're, if you're dying, you may use a hand here. You may try and keep your feet up and stay here. You may use a foot there. But this is ideally where we wanna be, shoulder over the elbow, all right? If you need to and you're a beginner, go ahead and drop a knee, hang out here, all right? Again, as you get a little bit more advanced with this, we can play around with this BOSU side plank. You can lift the hips, you can keep the hips up high. You may do these single leg, both side plank leg ad abduction kicks, just kicking away from the body. You may do some hamstring kicks, right? But if you're absolutely a beginner, just stay with that knee down onto the ground, all right? Little rest break. We're gonna breathe and we are gonna go to the opposite side. So, same thing, opposite side. We're just dropping down onto the ground. A little different angle here, and again, Generally, I like the side that whatever, like if it's my right arm that's down, I have my right bottom leg, that feels a little bit more secure. Um, depending on what kind of shoes you wear with these Pumas I got on, I can kind of get onto the side of the shoe on the foot. Sometimes you may have to roll the foot completely sideways, but I don't want to get my shoes dirty, so I'm just going to do it like this. 
and uh, I'm just hanging out here. Now, if I'm dying, I'm gonna drop that knee, and then you may even just keep that knee and that foot down, keeping this foot down. If, as you're getting a little bit better, sometimes I'll have my clients here. We may hold on to the side, and then cheating a little bit, we may bring the foot there. This is a great way to try and challenge, and you can play around with it, try and move it, hold it, stagger the feet. Maybe you're here, bring it back a little bit, fight it, bring it back. You can play around with those different positions, okay? Now, I do not, I will not tell you to do this. You do this at your own risk. The BOSU even says, do not flip this thing upside down. But this is a little bit easier, okay? And I like doing a BOSU reverse lunge, black side up. And depending on how stable you are, now if this is your first time doing it, just stop the video because you might not be able to do this. But we're gonna come down slow and then drop into lunge. I like this because it works the stability and the stabilization. My foot's flat on there but also I can really work this negative. So see how I'm coming down? And then I drop at the last second, all right? I know, beginner move. There's really no way to use the word beginner in BOSU, but for the sake of the video title, I did. Again, you can see my stabilizers are getting challenged here. I'm dropping, pushing, I'm stepping. It's not about how many reps and how fast you're doing it, it's how slow and how efficient you make the move. So I'm coming down slow, all the weights on one leg. I'm pushing, I'm stepping together. Lightly tapping my foot on the BOSU. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can karate kit it. Bring that knee all the way up. We're gonna do the same thing onto the other side. Hit a little different angle. Just hit that reverse lunge. Actually, I'm gonna go right here. So, one foot on. Like I said, I'm gonna come down slow. 90% of the weight's on this leg. This back leg's a reference. I'm not dropping the weight here and then coming down. All the weight's on my right leg. Then I lightly tap and I drop into the movement. Nice pause, press. Step together, coming down slow. Work that negative, okay? And like I said, if you're new to this, you may actually just wanna practice just stepping on this BOSU, getting used to this. And if this is too hard for you, please check out my beginner lower body bodyweight workout. I literally have the only beginner bodyweight leg workout you'll ever need. It's one of my videos on YouTube and it just uses your lower body body weight and you wanna master that first before you use this BOSU. So, we're stepping through, let's sneak in one extra rep. Coming down, pause, boom. All right, we're gonna get a quick little stretch. Then we're gonna wrap up the video here. Sometimes I like to sit into the squat stretch, especially my knees getting better. Two months of an injury, I can squat stretch, I get this in, but we won't worry about stretching right now too much. I have plenty of other videos for that. So, wow, thank you so much for tuning in. Really hope you enjoyed this one. I have a lot of clients that have, you know, recently started up with me towards the end of this year. And as I go through my personal training career and journey, you know, utilizing this studio here, I want to give my clients the education, guidance, resources, and relentless support to help you all fulfill, <laughs> help you all fulfill all of your fitness and nutrition needs. That's my mission statement right there. And that's why I go hard. There's no other trainer that works as hard as I do making sure that I get this quality YouTube content. Listen, yeah, I want some more uh, branding for my business, but more importantly, I'm creating these videos for my clients. And if you're not one of my clients watching this, then you stumbled upon gold because the reason why I make a lot of my videos in these structured formats is to help my clients. I deliver a high quality personal training service, all right? I provide my clients with the best information and resources they can get, and I want them to succeed. And that spillover effect is you watching this, if you're just a subscriber, to get the best content. You know, I started down this journey in 2007, my first video I ever created. If you look at my, I have this other channel, Frank Wall, and uh, I created this uh, Spartan 300 training video, got almost a million views. But I wasn't really ready for that then. And anyways, all this goes to say, I've been doing this for a while, but I'm very passionate about this. I want you to succeed. I want you to do your absolute best. And that's why I'm creating workouts just like this because when I get a new client, for example, I might say, hey, get a BOSU, some dumbbells, a suspension trainer, and really just utilize your own body weight and utilize my YouTube content. Part of my onboarding process for brand new clients is I will send them some of my beginner playlists and I have a, you know, an Evernote document that I will send them and I'll have certain exercises and routines that they can do to get started. And I'm gonna be updating the document because a lot of my clients, guess what? I want you to get better at BOSU balance stability training. Yes, this isn't for everybody, okay? But it is for some of you. And especially if you're like me and you like to go snowboarding or maybe you wanna go skiing, you need your stabilizers in check. And this is a great foundation workout that you can help the master 
getting those stabilizers fired up, getting your hip, knee, and ankles ready to handle the snow this winter, and so you can really enjoy some time shredding down the mountain. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. I look at the stats, a lot of you aren't subscribed. You're just watching this, and maybe you watch six or seven of my videos before you do, but please go ahead and hit that notification bell because I'm putting out new content. I know I haven't been the best lately. I do plan for Fridays at noon, but sometimes my schedule gets crazy, and I'm just doing so many things right now, but I am trying to do a lot more of these YouTube shorts. So please show me some love on those YouTube shorts. If you really like that style of content, it's one minute videos. And I'm just trying to put some really good in-depth, uh, educational, entertaining, one minute pieces of content. Cause especially for a lot of my online coaching clients, you know, I don't utilize trainer rides and some of these other programs that some of these other online trainers use because it's a literally built for you, done for you system. I do it all myself because I have my own spin on things. So I want you to see exercises that I do firsthand. So go check out some of those shorts. I have a lot of them. I'm putting out these one minute clips that you can see. So I'm gonna cut this video out here cause I'll talk for another 30 minutes and ramble on. So again, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. Thanks for being here. And I can't wait to see you watching some of my other videos. See ya. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure and this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course I've been hurt, but I'm not much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. They all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You gonna see my name up on a flag. I sell this shit and I'll never come back. I keep this bitch on a line to attack. Never look back. I make a record like crash. Top of my bracket, I smash. I'm like a pack. I'm about to stack it like cash. It's gonna happen and so fast. I've never changed my mind.